Have I ever told you that I love Meerschaum pipes? No? Well, pull up a seat, my friend, while I tell you a tale. Two hours later. And that's why the Germans called it sea foam. <laughs> Got weird. It got weird. So yeah, I love Meerschaum pipes, but I've never really explained why I love Meerschaum pipes. So check this out. You may remember the video where uh, where Open restored this guy. Great. I actually have two of these. Why? I don't know. It's a cool pipe, and honestly. I dropped this almost immediately uh, the first time I tried to use it. So, um, for those of you who, who've been camping know, two is one and one is none. So you break this, it's gone. Uh, I have two of these. Let's see. I recently showed you this. My Meerschaum bowl on my Peacemaker pipe. Pretty happy about that. I've got this little beauty. Another Peterson Meerschaum. Uh, here's one of my favorite Meerschaums. This guy, check this out. I got this when it was, when it was snow white. And now look at it. Years, years of use have made it this nice chocolate brown color. So yeah, I love Meerschaum. But why? You know, one is the history. So I'm not going to go through the whole history of Meerschaum pipes. I'm not going to explain in, in 17 something, uh, this, this rock was discovered. And uh, in German it means sea foam. Which of course in German means a whale's vagina. You all know this. I'm not going to go through that again. Take this pipe, for example. This pipe here is about 200 years old. Uh, this is on loan to me. This is not my pipe. This is on loan to me from MBSD. They're an online pipe seller. Uh, they sell antique pipes that are 200 years old, and they sell brand new Meerschaum pipes that they had commissioned to sell. This is incredible. The pipe I'm holding is over just about 200 years old, and I could use it today. I'm not going to because it's not my pipe, but can you imagine? I would love to smoke this thing. And that's the thing about Meerschaum. This is a stone. It's actually a stone. And if you take care of it, it can last 200 years. Your descendants can be using these pipes. It's incredible. Um, the durability is great. You don't have to worry about, worry about burning one of these out the way you would with a, a briar pipe. Uh, briar pipe, you, you smoke it too hot, too long, it'll burn a hole in it. A stone pipe, it's not going to happen. Another thing with, with briar pipes is that... Um, they can ghost easily. So if you if you smoke a bad tobacco, if you smoke too hot, uh, if you just burn it down to ashes and you're just smoking ashes all the time, it can leave a cruddy taste in your briar pipe. Uh, Meerschaum, you don't have that problem quite as much. Now, they do ghost a little bit. Uh, in fact, one of the things that I love about this pipe is that um, the nature of Meerschaum is that it's very porous. So it's going to absorb tars and nicotine and oils from the tobacco that you smoke which is what gives it this nice, dark chocolate color over time. And um, even though Meerschaum traditionally doesn't ghost, when you have a nice colored pipe like this, give it a smell. Turn it over like this and just smell the pipe itself. I want to smell like this. I want my kids remembering me smelling like this. It got weird. Meerschaum is just, for many reasons, one of my all-time favorite materials. Another reason I love Meerschaum is legacy. Like I said, if you take care of these, uh, you could pass this down to your, your grandchildren, your great-grandchildren. Your great-great-grandchildren uh, <laughs> could be using this pipe. Not this pipe, this is my pipe, your Meerschaum pipe. Versus a briar pipe, that's probably not very likely. Now, you can find 100-year-old briar pipes, but you're probably not going to be smoking them very often. A Meerschaum pipe, you can totally do this. I can take this briar pipe here, um, and if this were mine, I could light it up and I could smoke this. So again, this is on loan from MBSD Meerschaum. And they are a great company. I spent a lot of time on the phone with them, just learning about what they do, learning about their processes. And, um, you know, when they, when they sent this to me to, to show on some of my videos, they sent it with the, the stem and the, the bowl separately. Now this is an original cherry wood stem, and apparently those are hard to find. This is really, really nice made silver work. I'll get some close-ups of this to show you. And uh, I asked, you know, would you mind if I put the stem into the bowl uh, so I can show, show this on the video? And 
I didn't. I, I can only picture myself just cracking this this bowl and just destroying the whole thing. And they said to me, you know, that pipe is about 200 years old. There's not a whole lot you could do to break it. To which I said, uh, challenge accepted. Challenge accepted. I did not say that. I didn't want to freak them out. But they said that I could do it, so I totally did it. And uh, man, I would love to have one of these just to be able to smoke it. Again, 200 years old. So, you know, about the company that that sells these, if you've ever been on eBay or Etsy looking for a Meerschaum pipe, uh, you've likely seen their logo. They sell, like I said, 200-year-old antique pipes. They also commission brand new Meerschaum pipes to be sold. And that brings up a good question. You know, since I talk about Meerschaum a lot, possibly more than I maybe should, people ask me, so how do I know what's a good Meerschaum, what's a bad Meerschaum? Because you often hear about block Meerschaum or fake Meerschaum. Uh, people have asked me about, well, the difference is you have block Meerschaum, which is just, just that. It comes from a stone that is dug out of the ground in Turkey. Um, and it's given to an artisan. They sculpt it by hand. The, these handcrafted pipes, this, they'll sculpt these by hand and they will sell them. Now, the other kind of Meerschaum is compressed Meerschaum. Because in the sculpting process, there's a lot left over. There's dust and there's flakes and there's shavings. Well, what happens is uh, some companies will gather up all of those leftovers. They'll compress them in molds or blocks and uh, they will make pipes out of that. And obviously that is not going to make a great pipe. Again, one of the great things about Meerschaum is it's very light and it's very porous. And uh, the compressed Meerschaum isn't like that. And some people may ask, how can you tell the difference? Well, unfortunately, at first, you probably can't. I would say 99.9% .9 of people could not tell the difference uh, when they're hand handed a block Meerschaum versus compressed Meerschaum pipes. But you will see that difference over time. Uh, with a nice block Meerschaum pipe, you will see coloring over time. It's a very light material. It's surprising how light these are. This is lighter than, than briar in a lot of cases. Compressed Meerschaum isn't like that. Uh, compressed Meerschaum, it's going to be heavier. It's going to be less porous, so it won't color correctly over time. It's just not going to give you the whole effect of owning Meerschaum over time. It's not going to give you as, as good a smoke. It will likely ghost. Uh, in some cases, the compressed Meerschaum could have binders to keep all of those shavings and flakes in place, and, and it just won't be a good pipe over time. So how do you tell the difference? How do you find a good block Meerschaum pipe? Well, uh, part of that comes down to knowing who you're buying from. An easy way to tell is when you go on eBay, and you'll see some of the much more affordable Meerschaum pipes. Uh, under, under the Buy It Now section, you'll see buy one, buy two, buy three, buy ten of these. Or you go down to the number sold on a specific listing, and it'll say 32 sold, almost gone. That should tell you something. That tells you that those are mass-produced. They're not hand-carved. Um, versus hand-carved one-of-a-kind pipes, you're going to be able to tell the difference. Uh, you just need to find a good seller, a good reputable seller that, that you know is going to give you a good pipe. So, for those of you who uh, saw my interview with Chris Morgan uh, of MorganPipes.com and the maker of Morgan Bones Pipes, you likely saw my other channel, The Underdog Journey, where I talk about small business startups, uh, business development, things like that. So obviously I love small business. I love buying from the little guy. I'd much rather buy from a mom and pop shop versus a big corporation that doesn't care about me and doesn't know who I am, frankly. Uh, so NBSD Meerschaum is literally small, as much of a small business as you can as you can imagine. It's a husband and wife that buy up collections of antique pipes, uh, clean them up and resell them, and they also commission uh, new Meerschaum pipes to be to be made. And when they do so, they actually vet their artisans really, really closely. Um, they they only work with the best of the best. And again, I spent a lot of time on the phone with them, just learning about their process and. They taught, I, I thought that I knew a lot about Meerschaum. Uh, these guys taught me a lot, a lot of things that I didn't even think about. So again, when, when we got in touch, I was just over the moon. I was super, super excited. And uh, what came out of that was I got you a new Meerschaum pipe. Well, I got one of you a new Meerschaum pipe. Now, for what you've been waiting for, the pipe that we're going to give away. And uh, this, is, this was donated by MBSD Meerschaum uh, to give away. So, got to put that out there, and man, this is a great looking pipe. This is, a, this is a design, this is a classic design that I'm sure a lot of you have seen. The classic 
Eagle Claw holding the bowl. Check that out. We're giving this away to one of you. And man, when, when you get this pipe, I really, really hope that you give us feedback and um, let everybody know how it colors over time. Because this is gonna look incredible. If you've seen uh, these Eagle Claw pipes after they start to color, you will just be just blown away by how beautiful these things are. Uh, this awesome, awesome sort of ambery orange stem with the chocolatey color this is going to absorb is gonna look incredible. This is awesome. Love this. And I'm gonna be giving this away on behalf of MBSD Meerschaum. So, how do you win this pipe? Uh, first of all, you need to be at least 21 years old to enter because that's just the way of the world, right? Uh, second, you need to subscri subscribe to this channel. Third, you need to leave a comment. Um, the comment needs to say, I'm in. Uh, also, you need to mention your thoughts about Meerschaum. Uh, if you love Meerschaum, that's great. If you don't like Meerschaum, I don't know why you'd want this pipe, but let us know why you don't like Meerschaum. Uh, let us know if, you have, if you're hesitant about the material, all, material at all. And uh, I would love to learn your thoughts. This next part is uh, kind of on the honor system. So I won't know if you actually do this or not, but the pipe smoking community is, um, it's an honest community. I love you guys. Uh, so the next thing you need to do is you need to follow the links in my description and check out MBSD Meerschaum on Etsy or eBay and just see what they got. Just check them out, uh, see, see their 200 year old antique pipes and see their brand new commissioned Meerschaum pipes. And you will be amazed at some of the different designs and the shapes and sizes out there. It's, it's incredible. So that's on the honor system. I won't really know if you do it, but I trust you. I trust you. And you have until, uh, let's see, let's say May 1st at 12 a.m. Eastern. 12 a.m. 12 Eastern, May 1st, gives about two weeks um, before I cut off the, the entries. So check out MBSD Meerschaum on Et Etsy and eBay. Links are in the description or just go to eBay or Etsy and search for Meerschaum Pipes. You will see their logo. Um, and leave a comment down below, subscribe. Let us know what you think because that is a beautiful pipe. And I promise you, somebody is really, really going to love smoking this. This is incredible. So, um, MBSD Meerschaum, thank you very much. Uh, I, I was super, super excited to speak with you and even more excited when you uh, decided to donate this pipe to give away. And um, very soon, we're actually going to get in touch with MBSD Meerschaum's um, restoration expert, Meerschaum restoration expert, to talk about some of their antique pipes. So I'm not shilling for them. I just think they're a great company. I love the owners, they're awesome. And um, I love Meerschaum as material. I think it is one of the best pipe materials there is for all the reasons I listed. So if you think so, if you agree, let me know. If you don't agree, let me know. Honestly, I want to know your thoughts. And uh, with that, I'll talk to you next time. Thanks. Bye. Which, of course, in German means a whale's vagina.